Hi everyone. Good night. Welcome to part number two of organizing digital images on your computer. Last week was just a broad overview of some of the things that you could do. Tonight is the basic fundamental groundwork of things that you absolutely need to do and start doing as soon as possible if you're not doing them. So that from here on in, as digital photography is a part of your life, you will be better organized. I have four tips tonight on better organizing your digital image collection. This is a topic that I could stand up here and speak for two months on. Okay? I picked four of my absolute favorite ones. Not, not my favorite, I should say. Proven to be some of the better things that you need to do to handle your digital photography collection. <clears throat> First one, chronological folder names. I went to a friend's place the other day and they were trying to find me a photo. And they had, fo they had about a hundred different folders, all named whatever they were, and they couldn't find, I had no chance of finding that folder. Here's what I'm suggesting and what people find effective. And if you do a search on the internet, you will find that this is what everybody recommends you do and works for them. I have a folder called the year, the month, and then a description for each of your folders. It's very simple. Never mind naming them, describing them and such. I mean, you do want to have a description at the end, but do year and month. Some people like to do 12-December-description. That, you know, you know, that works too. The, uh, the idea here is you can, you can sort them. Right? So you go into 2006, it's going to be one, January, February, March, April, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You'd be surprised how far this goes in just helping you find the photo that you need. Most people can't remember the folder name. How are you going to remember the folder name from five years ago? You just can't do it, right? But you probably remember the year you went to Paris. Wouldn't you, Lisa? I would think so, yes. And you can, and you can probably remember the season and most likely the month. You, have a, you stand a fighting chance of finding it in less than five minutes, right? This is one of the best tips that everyone wants to do. I should try to remember. Like the other four tips I'm going to give in a minute, the secret one, which I haven't listed here yet, if you haven't already started, if you, if you have a big mess of photos, don't wait until you have time to rearrange and reorganize all of your images. Start with your new images in this format, okay? with your folders in this format. The old ones that are all misnamed, when you get time, move them across to this format and follow the other tips here. Okay? So starting from today, start naming them this way and continuing from there with cleaning up your old stuff, okay? Number two is backup. As soon as those photos go on your computer, get them off of there. At least a copy of them, okay? Do not put images on a, on a computer without backing them up. I've been in computers for 25 years, actually, I don't want to date myself too much here, but I tell you, there's one thing guaranteed about a computer, the hard drive is going to crash. Now, um, solid state memory is becoming more and more popular, and hard drives will be solid state, and they won't have moving parts, so they won't crash so much very soon. You can, always, you can already buy them at Future Shop, even though they're an arm and a leg. You can back these up. Back it up on a USB drive that you can pick up. I picked up a terabyte at Costco last week for 100 bucks. It's not expensive. Or you can back it up on the internet, of course. I've used something called Mosey. As soon as you drop a file on a, on a picture folder, Mosey picks it up and snap like that, it puts it up on the internet. So no matter what you do with your photos, as you rearrange them or do whatever you want to do with them, rename the folders, Mosey picks them up. Never again would you have to worry about losing your photos. And I tell you, when you've lost 10 years of photography and they're gone, 
including your six or seven year old child. I don't back up hardly anything from my house. I have paintings worth thousands of dollars in my place. If they go, they go. I can replace them. My digital photos, are, my backups are not stored even in the house. Because if the rest of my life burns down, I still want my photos around. The rest of the stuff, it's going to be painful, but they can be replaced. Regarding organizing them, it might seem like a pain. Every time you come back from a major trip, when I came back from Whistler recently, I put my photos on my hard drive in the right folder name, I backed them up, and I tagged a few things. I selected them all, I typed in Whistler. I typed in, I selected ones with a few friends of mine, typed in their name. Ones of me, typed in my name. Fifteen minutes, and for the rest of your life, no matter what you do with those files, that data is stored in there, and you can use whatever software you're using, or at least most software you're using, to find them. I want to find my friend Frank and Whistler. Type in Frank and Whistler. I can find them ten years from now. Take the 15 minutes to do it. You want to be able to find photos later on? This is the trick. Data tagging. There's no other way right now. Last one. Sharing. No use taking them if you can't show them to everybody, right? So, what you want to do is just kind of get used to sharing them. You can share them through email, you can share them through Facebook, Picasa, various means. The old printed way is more or less out these days. Even burning them on CD and shipping CDs is more or less out. The majority of houses these days have a computer and internet access. You can just do it that way. Email or put them up on the internet somewhere. Everybody wants to have a well-organized digital photo collection. Very few people have a well-organized photo collection. These won't cover everything. Do these few things. Do these four things starting now, and I guarantee you, for the rest of your life, you will have a better organized collection, and you will be happier with the images you take with more confidence that 10 years from now, you can still find and view that wonderful image that you favored. Okay.